Help! I need help! Damn. Hi guys, it's V here. I am back at it again with another hack video. This time it's a little different because I don't think I have ever done a clothing or fashion hack on my channel. Isn't that weird, you guys? That's kind of weird, right? So it's about time I get on with it and give you some of my fashion and clothing hacks. Brand new type of video, but same old V. Whoa, I know that was a little too close for comfort. So I'm just going to back it up. Back it up slowly so we can have a comfortable distance between us. Now let's get hacking. <laughs> If you're going to an event or like a meeting or just some kind of party that has a lot of good food but you have to dress up kind of nice before it, this is my hack for you. I like to wear clothes that are super stretchy like this, this dress here. It looks like it's very form-fitting and it's kind of dressy but it's very loose so when I peg out on all the free food at the party, there's room to grow and it will hide my food baby. This is alternatively called a buffet dress. <laughs> so whenever I go to a buffet, I would always wear um, an A-line dress. So that's, I'm gonna give you an example of that right now, of an A-line dress, which is kind of poofier towards the bottom. So definitely hide that food baby because you know I'm going for second and thirds, maybe fourth. So there you go. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and more importantly, hit that bell symbol so YouTube will let you know when I come out with a brand new video. Whenever I post a brand new video, I hang out in the comment section with you guys for an hour and chat with you guys. So if you want to come chat with me, be the notification squad and I will see you there. Whenever I fold my jeans and put it in the drawer, I always get that ugly crease you know it's like a tri-fold and then when I wear my jeans without ironing them because I'm kind of lazy so this hack is the way that I prevent all the creases on my jeans fold it in half right take your hanger and slide it between the legs up the butt <laughs> up the butt like this so it just hangs like that, right? Take your one leg, wrap it all over this side, straighten it out, and then take your other leg and wrap it to the other way. And this is how a lot of stores like American Apparel, um, a lot of retail stores hang their jeans this way. That's pretty neat, huh? All right, let's get a little close and personal a little bit. If you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like the video so I know to make more videos like this. So if you like it, click like and then we'll all just be a happy big family. You've probably heard and seen a lot of celebrities or athletes team up with a national big brand to create their own clothing line, right? One thing about celebrities collaboration is that they can be a big hit or a big miss. When the celebrity collaboration line is a big hit, there's probably no doubt that during the first day of sale, most of the items that you want will be sold out. And then a week later, you're gonna find them on eBay for double to triple the price. But if the collaboration is just a huge miss, this is where we score. Nicki Minaj actually had a clothing line and it didn't do as well as she thought. And I actually scored some huge, huge deals. Her clothing line went down to 80% off. Anything over 70% off is a bargain shopper's dream. And I was practically in heaven. Nikki was wearing a long sleeve mock turtleneck crop top and long leggings with gold dots patterns. I'm wearing the exact outfit but in pink. Hot pink to be exact. This color is so bright that you can go ahead and jaywalk across the street because everybody will see you. This outfit kind of reminds me of Peg Bundy from Married with Children. Got this top for only $4 and the legging for $7. The legging has a hidden pocket by the waist that you can put a credit card or some cash in it. It's pretty handy. Alright, if you guys have zippers in your wardrobe, you probably need this hack. Ever have your zippers and your jacket or in your jeans are get stuck? 
If you ever had a problem with your zippers on your jackets or on your jeans get stuck, this is what you need to do. If you're like me, most likely you're always going to be carrying some type of lip balm and this will solve all your zipper problems. Rub the lip balm where the zipper is stuck several times and then it should work. Voila! I am one of those girls who just absolutely loves, loves it whenever I see a sale rack or even better, a clearance rack. I do not have any shame shopping in the discount bargain section. I know there are people out there that are like, no, you know, I'm a full price kind of person, not like a half off kind of person because I don't really like to save my money. Come on, come on. But if you're like me and just absolutely love it when you see a sale rack from the distance, you just go directly to it. I particularly like to go shopping during holidays because there's always a sale. You know, they make up their own holidays too at some of those stores. So just go on those days to get the extra discount that you may not get while you're going on a normal day. And if for some reason you need to get an item in a very short notice, like you're going to a party, like tonight, and you still don't have anything to wear. So what I do in this situation is I go online and I shop around first until I find that perfect outfit that I want. Then I go and sign up for their newsletter because they always will give you a 10% to 20% off coupon that you can use online or in store. So this way I created my own sale and will get a discount off of that full price item that I was going to purchase. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat. This next hack here is a bra hack. To convert your regular bra into a strapless bra, what you need to do is remove one bra strap and use the other one and wrap around the back and hook it on to the other bra cup. And there you go, that is the bra hack and it actually works and it will stay up. If you are a petite person like me, you probably have the same problem as I do with hanging your sweaters on hangers. Most hangers are almost always too wide for me. Whenever I hang my sweaters on them and take it off, I always get these ugly shoulder creases and it just bugs the heck out of me. This is how I hang mine. Take your sweater, fold it in half, take the hook and put it where your armpit is. Oh, I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. <laughs> okay, let me explain. Do that one more time so we can see it. You're just too good at it, V. I was like... <laughs> Easy as that. Arm here, armpit, hook, and just drape your sleeves over to one side of the hanger and drape the rest of the body of the sweater on the other side of the hanger. So it looks like this. This way you won't get any creases um, on your sweater or on the sleeves. You know, the problem that I always have. So here it is. That's cool. off season can save you a ton of money especially when you look for those classic pieces that doesn't go out of style. It's also a great time to try a new fashion trend or something just totally out of your comfort zone. If you're in the market for a suit, January is a great time to do that. February is a great time for jewelry. During March is great if you're looking for a new luggage because of spring break. April it's raincoats. If you like thrifting or going to consignment stores, May is the month for you because there's a lot of spring cleaning going around. July is a great time to stock up on the summer apparel. If you live in LA, it's pretty much summer all year long, so July is the month to stock up. August is a great month for swimsuits. September is a great time to get some shades. October is the time to stock up on some denim. If you like luxury items, November is the time to get them because of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And December is a great time to get winter coats because stores just want to clear out and bring in all the spring collection. My favorite season. Do you own a hoodie? If you do, you probably had this problem before where you're just playing with the string of the hoodies and all of a sudden, it just fall all the way out of your hood. <gasps> B, why'd you do that? Chad, this is so fun. I need to use this to tie my 
<laughs> my shoes with. I ran out of shoestrings. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin my hoodie because you need shoelaces. All right. Since Chad is kind of mad at me, I need to fix this so he will be unmad at me, right? Mm hmm Yes. <laughs> all right. So all you need, or all I will need, is get a safety pin and just hook the one end of the string onto the safety pin. I actually learned this, Mom. This mom. <laughs> I actually learned this trick from my mom. <laughs> Alright, so then to string it back, I have to I have to take this off. Yay. Yay, we did it! So if you use a larger safety pin, the easier it will be. So this one's kind of small, so it took me a long time. And make sure to tie this up. Not up so it doesn't happen again. Help! I need help! Okay, if you have a dress that has a back zipper and you happen to live alone or you don't have a friend or a family member around to help you zip the dress up from the back, this is my hack for you. Just get a piece of string, or in my case, I just grab a yarn, uh, or a string of yarn. It's still a string, yeah. I will tie the piece of yarn onto the zipper. Then I will put the dress on and then the string will give me plenty of room to pull it up from the back and I can zip it up all by myself. I'm a big girl now. <laughs> super easy, right? All right, and once your dress is on, this is high enough for me to reach. I don't need nobody. I'm an independent woman. <laughs> Weren't all those hacks just totally awesome? And if you think they're awesome, I think you will find this video right here very awesome. Equally awesome, I mean, very awesome. What? <laughs> and please also follow me on Instagram because I post more frequently there on a daily basis. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!